Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode or actually a look at the outer world. So let's get started. So uh, Okay, let's do story mode. Uh, on so no, so, yes, on Okay, continue. I've heard about this game but I've never played it. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny. When you go out of this world, Okay. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Good, high, okay. Okay, E. Okay. I bet you're vicious with a toss ball stick. You're going to be hard to kill, though not from lack of trying. Okay. You were a swill jockey? Waste of good talent. Okay, Petri, what, okay, uh, ap aptitude, okay, uh... Well, you are technically assisting me. Okay, I want it to be male, base, okay. Okay, eye colour. Uh, what's your name, Adam? Alright, cool. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Oh, shit. Initiate skip jump. Interesting, to say the least. Status, structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> Shit. Okay. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space. And for 
course to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Right. I see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Uh, what are Interesting. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, okay. there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing, gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. in letting his ship go to waste. Okay. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Okay. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Okay, do I need to go this way? Okay. It's a really good graphical game, I must say that. Okay. What's that? Uh... Uh oh, I need to go this way. Okay, okay, I can do here. Okay, uh. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Ah! Ow! Kind of broken a leg. Hey, you, hey. come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Okay, uh... <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay, uh... We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulate... Okay, uh... Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. 
You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Okay. Okay, uh... Uh, okay. Damn it, my ears! Oh, oh what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the Wow, uh... Ow. Okay, ow! So, I don't know. Okay, uh... What's this here? Okay. It's nice bread. contains no valuable plunder. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Uh... I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jetstream procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in five, four, three, two, one. If you are still here, my deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must okay. be replaced. The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. 
I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go 18 metres that way. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Look around. Let me have a look around the ship first. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Okay. Uh, okay, I just want to have a look around, see what's going on. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Okay. Alright. I think we might do a series on this. Out. Okay. Um, yeah, so what I'll do... Hang on, what's up here? Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so... Thank you, everyone, and um, we will have a go at this as a series later. So thank you, everyone. I'll see you again soon.